AI has really entered the consciousness of the general public with things like chat GPT and the sheer speed of development. And following on from GPT-4, we now have auto GPT, where effectively your, your chat GPT, your AI can talk to itself and create agents to do tasks for it. Are we entering a brave new world or the end of times? <laughs> Let's check it out. So here we are, auto GPT, an autonomous GPT-4 experiment. It's an experiment. Have you never watched a sci-fi film? Yeah. Ever before an experiment? Anyway, I joke, I jest. So auto GPT is an experimental open source application showcasing the capabilities of GPT-4 language model. This program, driven by GPT-4, chains together LLM thoughts to autonomously achieve whatever goal you set. Take over the world. Yeah, like Lex Luthor. As one of the first examples of GTP4 running fully autonomously, AutoGPT pushes the boundaries of what is possible with AI. Yeah. Now, on paper, just reading it and a kind of not particular thrilling you know, site that is GitHub. You can tell it's developed by programmers, not by designers. You may not get a sense of what we're talking about. But basically, you give Auto GPT a task to do with goals. And then once it's achieved its goals, you tell it to shut down. That in itself is scary. And, and to analyze what it's doing. And Auto GPT will go off, look at what it needs to do to achieve the goals, create agents, the fact they're called agents, like the Matrix or something, Agent Smith. It creates agents. So you create an agent and then it will decide whether it needs more agents and give those agents specific tasks to achieve the goal that you set. Now, it sounds all very dry, me just talking about it. So why don't we check it out? Now, you can download it all, you know, on GitHub if you know how to do all that, if you're into kind of, you know, programming and understanding like that. But they do have a little kind of mini example. So we're going to check that out. So it gives you the whole breakdown, how to install it, what you need. You can add in speech mode, just, you know, if you want to increase the level of uh, sci-fi scariness, you know, HAL from 2001. Various plugins, how to, uh, you know, connect plugins and stuff like that. All of that. So if you're into your programming, your GitHub, you'll know how to do all of that. But let's just check out the demo and it will kind of hopefully sort of show you what we're talking about. So this is a demonstration of chat GPT. So auto, this is the name of the agent here, an AI designed to teach me about auto GPT. And it goes through the reasoning, the thoughts, all of that. This is, this is all it's thinking. Auto GPT demo, that's the agent they set up. Okay. Analyzing the page, browsing GitHub repository is the best way to gather more detailed information. Plan. Now it's summarizing the contents. Then it's saying next thoughts. You see here, auto GPT demo thoughts. The next step is to write a document explaining what auto GPT is. Reasoning create is reasoning. Creating a document will help us to organize the information we have gathered. Plan. Use the write to file command to create a file named AutoGTP text. Criticism. I need to ensure that the document is clear, concise, and includes all the important. It's criticizing itself. It's, it's sort of reviewing itself like a human would, effectively. Reasoning. And it teaches itself about different topics upon the internet. So that takes it beyond. It'll, it'll teach itself from the internet and therefore takes it beyond chat gpt which of course is limited to stuff up to 2021 so here we go we've completed the task now that we've finished documenting auto gpt i will terminate the program using the task complete comma and reasoning we have completed the task we set out to do and therefore no further command so that is reasoning why it's going to end because it's completed the task i should ensure i've completed all the tasks successfully basically before terminating the program you don't terminate the program you spend a lot of tokens and then this is it and you know look it's not 
rocket science. It's an experimental open source application that uses G GPT-4 language model for generating text autonomously. To, uh, autonomously. It has long-term and short-term memory management. Internet goes on. It requires installing dependencies, including open AI key, et cetera, et cetera. So there we are. That's a little demonstration, but there are there are other demonstrations which I think are more effective and more scary, and we're going to look at those. So here we go. Uh, this is a sort of a, a beta demo of what maybe it would look like uh, in terms of working if you're going to, you know, do all the programming yourself, download it, set it all up, whatever. Here's a little beta demonstration. It's over on Agent GPT reworked.ai. So you create an agent by adding a name and goal. So Okay, we're going to call it Lord Kenzel Demo, okay? Goal. Now, what we want the goal uh, to be ultimately to take over the world and no, bring me one million subscribers. <laughs> no. Um, so what could the goal be? How do we add more goals? Okay, we're going to put research most watched YouTube videos on AI and then create 10 YouTube videos titles based on AI that are topical and will do well on YouTube. Now that's the goal. Okay. Let's deploy agent, see what it does. Thinking. Collect data on most watched YouTube videos. Analyze the collected data. Identify the most. So it's broken the tasks down into three already. Right? So it's worked out the different tasks that I put in. Task one, collect data on the most watched YouTube videos. Task two, analyze the data. Okay, I've successfully collected the data. Okay, so it's found me. The future of AI and automation, McKinsey, two point, there we are. The rise of the machines, why automation is different this time, the economist. What is artificial intelligence explained? Okay. Task mark as complete, that's fine. Executing tasks two now, analyze the collected data and identify the most popular topics. AI versus humans, who will win the battle of intelligence? Exploring AI and video games. So well, that's a good one. Understanding natural language. Okay. Added task. Analyze the collected data. Identify the most popular topics. Okay. The future of AI robotics, what you need. Added tasks here. Can AI be ethical? What will these added? AI versus who will win thinking? Task three, generate 10 topical and catchy YouTube video titles. Okay. Okay. And then because it's a demo, it, that's the thing. You need to tell it to end tasks when it's done certain things. One of the criticisms of auto GPT is that uh, it will keep rationalizing and, and sort of challenging itself and and it can go on for ages. So you need to be very clear to finish its task because you're spending tokens. But as a demonstration, I think you'll find I, I asked it once and it went off and did it. It collected data from YouTube videos. Now, I don't know how true that is. Obviously, it's, you know, in beta version. Are they the most popular videos? You know, I don't know. I'd have to do more research to see whether that is the thing. I can export all of that, of course. But as you can see, this is a real simple demonstration. Obviously, you can get more complicated. You could say, create me a website and a landing page and provide me with all the code that I need and set it up and, you know, what I need to be optimize it, do the research, and off it will go and do. Is this as revolutionary as people say? There are some issues with it. When you set it up, it requires tokens and it can get quite expensive because it can get lost in itself. That's one of the criticisms. It can, can sort of... Get If you set this up, obviously it's costing you tokens and those tokens cost you money. And so they say it takes 50 steps. And I saw somebody worked out the 50 steps works out about $17, $15 of token worth of tokens. So 50 steps is probably enough to do that task. But then if it wants to do another task or you want to reiterate on that, on those, on the original job that you gave it, that's another 50 odd steps it takes to achieve it. So it slowly adds up money, but that's because it's early days, I guess. Compute space is at a premium, but um, as and when it gets rolled out or funded, etc., like that, hopefully the economies of scale will mean it will get cheaper. I don't know. You know, we're not quite sentient yet, but let me know what you think. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. This is a quick demonstration of 
Agent GPT there, you know, Auto GPT. I uh, hope you found it useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please hit the likes and support the channel. I really, really appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button because we're trying to build them subscribers, aren't we? And I can't get... I can't get Agent GPT to do it for me. Although that is an interesting thing. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. And you might want to check out the videos over here as well. Thanks for watching. Cheers.